Hello everybody, what's up? Wasabi and 321 here. Today I will be reviewing Avengers Endgame. Oh yeah, I just want to add in after the fact that there are no spoilers in this review. You will not be spoiled. You're completely safe watching this review if you have not seen the movie yet. Now I know a lot of you are asking, Wasabi man, how did you like see Avengers Endgame if you didn't go to the premiere? And that's because I watched it on one, two, three movies, baby. And I watched it online. I watched it on one, two, three movies. <laughs> and um, I have to say, it was a very, 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 very good movie. Very nice ending to the MCU. 22 films culminated and ending in one. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. There was just like so much emotion packed into it. A lot of did a lot of crying. I cried like two times. One of them, one of them, I couldn't even see the movie behind all my tears. They were just right down my face, right down my face. I was just crying. And I also laughed so hard that I cried. It's so funny. It's a funny movie. Very funny. A lot of jokes, a lot of a lot of laughs. The beginning was a little slow. It was a little slow, but it, you, you need to watch the beginning for it to build up to the mid middle, where it takes a different direction than you'd probably expect. But it does it very well, and there's a lot of payoff and fan service to to all the fans who watched all 22 MCU films, and they explore a lot of things, a lot of characters, a lot of places. A lot of cool stuff that I can't say because this is a non-spoiler review. No spoilers allowed. No, no, no. So it was three hours about. I think it said three hours and one minute. I didn't really mind it personally. I mean, like, even though the, the guy who was recording it, it was, like, very bad quality, I could still sit through it and still understand what was going on. And, like, I was entertained the whole time, even though the beginning was a little slow. Right? I was like, there's a certain point probably like 30 to 40 minutes in I was like I'm getting kind of bored and then bam right out of nowhere just like something happens that'll I can't say that there's a lot there's a plot twist there's a couple plot twists big su surprises you won't expect a lot of character development and arch ending the end of the character arc um, for a lot of the main your main characters that you like the ending very satisfying, very action-y, a lot of stuff going on. You know, like it's a three-hour movie, three hours. I'd say I'd say there's like three acts. It's like the first one's an hour, the second one's an hour, and the third one is an hour. Just like at the premiere, in the the guy who recorded it, he stopped when the credits rolled. So I don't really know if there's like a after-credit scene or not, which is kind of annoying. But I, I guess I'll I'll just wait until the after-credit scene gets online. Besides that, really. All I have to say about the movie is that like I didn't really like the part where Iron Man dies. 